Um, somebody asked me to film something with a Super 8 camera and gave it to me and I looked through the lens and that was it. I was completely, I just thought, I was a painter at the time and I just thought, this is, this has everything. It's moving, it's sound, it's image, frame. Well, it became more important. I think when I first started being an artist, and I was a musician, and I was a painter, and I was an art historian, um, I really didn't think too much about being Jewish. In fact, I was pretty much sort of equivocal or something about it. And then the more I got into making work, the more I realised that that's my culture. You know, you can't just wipe it out. It's very much about living in Britain. You know, to be British Jew is almost an oxymoron. The two cultures don't sit very well together. Um, so I suppose that the more I went into my cultural work, the more the Jewishness seemed very important. The woman aspect, I mean, obviously being a feminist, um, it just seemed that women are underrepresented. I mean, the obvious stuff. The Jewish is definitely underrepresented. Um, but you risk, if you express the Jewish, of being kind of marginalised and you know, doubly marginalised or even trebly marginalised, sexuality, gender, um, ethnicity, not to mention, you know, processing issues to do with this history of being Jewish, which is huge. Um, I think it's very important. I think, in a sense, you absorb the, the way you feel society sees you. Um, I think, on the one hand, I'm very assimilated and I can pass for other things. On the other hand, I'm not very assimilated at all. Um, you know, so you kind of, if you think people think of you as loud and pushy, then you think, well, who's the character that goes with that? Or what parts of my character? And then, because I don't look stereotypically Jewish, you know, I don't have brown eyes, I don't have black curly hair, I don't have, <clears throat> you know, a, the stereotypical Jewish look, um, or accent for that matter, because if I was, New York Jewish, I'd probably be more readable. If I was Israeli, I'd be more readable as Jewish. I have to invent these characters where I'm instantly read as Jewish. Well, I wouldn't say London is very much there in my work, you know. Um, it's not. I, I sort of have tried to work with London and I don't succeed. And I'm not quite sure why. Uh, but definitely New York, Cairo, Tel Aviv, Paris. Um, all sorts of places, very little London, um, but the city is obvious, it's urban, it, it, you know, I don't particularly relate to the rural. Landscape and land, you know, are big issues, so, you know, in terms of identity. Initially, when I studied at St Martin's with Tina Keane, Anne Thieu, Vera Neubauer, um, and they were my tutors, and, um, Isaac Julian and Sandra Lahir were my kind of contemporaries, Martin Token. Um, you know, we were kind of immersed in this sort of post structuralist kind of way of working, which was very. Um, I was very interested and excited, but I wanted to do something else. Hence, the sort of introducing humour, introducing things that were too um, populist in a sense. For, it, for sort of purist experimental film. Recently, I sort of find that I just, I, I'm trying to sort of grasp meaningful moments, be they of light or things people say or certain faces or certain landscapes. It's, it's a sort of culling things, because I'm using video mostly, um, in a sort of video diaristic way, but then cutting them just in terms of sort of fragmented moments that, that express something to do with what I see as meaningful. You know, the narrative comes out as the material rather than, you know, I'll sit down with a proposal and this kind of rigid idea, it's kind of, it, it flows. You know, it's very, very scary to talk about Israel in this country because it's kind of, it's always assumed if you even talk about Israel <laughs> um, that you're some kind of right-wing Zionist and that you hate Palestinians. And the more I kind of worked with Talk Israel and the fact that, you know, most Israelis that I know are not right-wing and they're not um, 
fascistic and they don't hate the Palestinians. It's, it's just purely a question of what would Jewish self-determination look like? What would a return, you know, whatever the politics of, um, you know, the Jewish people to um, this place of roots involve? So it kind of seems like more and more that that's, an, that's another kind of coming out. Why shouldn't I talk about Israel? So Talk Israel was the kind of desire to go and confront Israel, having been an anti-Zionist most of my life for no apparent reason other than kind of, it was a knee-jerk response to wanting to fit in with the left in this country. So I went there and I spent six months and it was very interesting. And I just collaged together these sort of interesting moments of um, all this time in Israel and these particularly characters that I got to know very well. Um, I was invited to do a residency and there was a gallery show at the end of it so I made a piece that would work in a gallery but that also was like a video diary. You know, I was, I was kind of meeting a lot of people and having these incredibly intense conversations. You know, I had like hours of footage and I kind of managed to sort of melt it down into this 13 minute film. So it's very different to Talk Israel which is really like a kind of experimental documentary project. Um, nowhere having found its way is a kind of midrashic meditation on a video diary and day-to-day -day life and conversations that sprang up.